today we will be starting with the foundations of the pavilion on the outside of the conservation hotel. We're going to be adding the pathing and starting on adding the planters outside of the building. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Yo, yo, what's going on everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in in today's video. Explained in the beginning of the video, we're going to be adding and starting with the foundations of the planters and the pathing areas outside of the conservation hotel. In the previous video, we finished the gift shop that is on the first floor of the hotel. With the addition of the gift shop, was the perfect moment to add it into the hotel itself because we were starting on the foundations before. But the idea on what to add on the first floor up to the point on where the uh, gift shops were released were uh, yeah like unknown. So it was like perfect timing to add the gift shop into this building to give it some functionality. But now we have reached the point on adding the, uh, yeah, the stuff on the outside of the conservation hotel. So we'll have a couple of stairs leading from like the normal ground level onto the platform that surrounds the building. And uh, yeah, like more today specifically, we're going to be yeah, focusing on uh, the path work and also the uh, yeah, decorations above the pathing and start on the planter. Overall, it took ages to uh, get everything up and running and the way that it will look like at the end of the day with uh, the completion of the conservation hotel. Of course, we will not, like, not show everything, but I will still try to uh, show as much as possible without it to be like uh, too similar to everything. Because uh, I think in general, it took around like maybe five or six hours to get everything sort of correctly placed. Because I do not really like use the method of uh, like the mud pillar and make like circles and everything sort of that way. For some reason, I still do it like the, uh, the old fashioned way, so to speak the way that I have been doing uh, these like circular buildings from the start. It's not like the most convenient one, but for some reason for me personally, it's like easier to do. And I think that also adds a little bit on the reason of why everything takes quite a lot longer than if you would use the mud pillar technique. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day though, it looked yeah, very nice and I'm very happy with the, uh, the overall uh, completion of things. Because of course, all the builds that you see on YouTube have started and been created live over on Twitch. Also now on TikTok. So if you are able to uh, yeah, tune in and of course also want to tune in in one of those live streams both on Twitch and or TikTok, feel free to do so. All the links will be in the description down below. Feel free to uh, yeah, join in one of those future live streams. If you have any questions about the build or just like want to have like a more detailed look, then feel free to ask those questions in those chats. We'll be able to uh, yeah, show live on the, the completion of things and how we uh, did everything. So yeah, it will be uh, nice to see you in a future live stream. But to go back like a little bit on the uh, the pathing right now, we are using like a couple of things from the, uh, the European pack, I believe, and also from the uh, Indonesia pack. If I'm not mistaken, with the uh, the rocks that we are using right now, it's like a great piece. Like I love this. It works perfectly with the uh, overall look, with the, like the the modern setting that we've been building so far, and also going to be building in future builds. Like I'm uh, I'm loving this item. It's so cool. And also the fact that you're able to change the color of it just makes like customization much better. Like I'm uh, very happy that like Frontier at some point like started to add more and more. Uh, flexi color items in the game that we can just like change the color of it it's like make things like so much nicer also as mentioned before the overall section that we are currently building in on the live streams look like around five to six hours or so and uh, especially because we have to like make a blueprint out of all the buildings that we are currently creating because the zoo that we are building in right now will not be like the actual zoo that we're going to be placing uh, like animals and everything in so with the uh, the creation of the blueprints it uh, will require some like tinkering about what to get whenever it's placed. Because the, uh, the blueprints themselves do not have those pathing uh, like pieces uh, inside of them, unfortunately. Like I'm hoping that like if a Planet Zoo 2 will happen in the future, like Planet Coaster 2, for example, 
will have uh, like pathing in blueprints like if planet Zoo 2 will like happen in the future i'm like really hoping that they will like able to uh, add that feature in there too because it will like make our lives so much easier than uh, yeah like having to redo all those things whenever you add a blueprint in you don't have to like tinker about you can just like complete it in one go and from there just like place it somewhere else and at least like make a blueprint out of it would be like a lot nicer that's for sure but uh, yeah of course it will not be showing every single bit it's more like snippets especially in the beginning um but like later on we'll also like focus of course like more on the placement of like um the trees and the bushes and the rocks like the foliage stuff will be added in uh, the next video though like for this one it will like mainly focus on uh yeah like the pieces that you see right now and the planters because that definitely took like the most time of uh, of everything also like whenever the uh, like foliage items have been placed and uh finishing up the overall build uh, blueprints will be made so at some point all the builds that we have in this zoo will be placed on the steam workshop not able to like say uh, when exactly that's going to be uh, more because i yeah like usually add stuff on the uh, the steam workshop whenever i'm like finished with a whole area and then i just like take stuff out from that area make a blueprint out of it and add those to the uh, the workshop so i'm not entirely sure when that's gonna happen but um yeah like do uh keep an eye out on the future if you like do want to have those uh buildings inside your zoo because it will be added on the uh, the steam workshop at some point but uh, yeah whatever this building is finished and the uh, the foliage and everything has been placed uh, we already started on a uh, new build which is also pretty darn cool because in the uh, the meantime of uh, the creation of like this building um i immigrated to uh, to sweden so i don't like live in the uh, in the netherlands anymore since like months now and um when i was in uh, stockholm in like the the way up to the uh, the place that i currently live now uh, we stopped in stockholm for a um a night to sleep over there in like a, a hotel and um outside the hotel there was a building that was uh, back then under construction uh but it's uh, called the forskaren um building it's like a, a science building We'll like try to add a, a photo in uh, like right now so you're like able to see how the uh, the building looks like and that is the building that we're going to be working on uh, after the hotel is finished so we're going to be like using that building uh, as a walkthrough enclosure um or at least like exhibit so it will be like filled with uh, butterflies whenever it's like finished and um of course it's like a, quite a big build so maybe whenever we actually like place that building uh, we're going to be like trying to like add some more functionalities to it uh, but like the main thing will be for butterflies but that will be like for whenever we start with the building so we still have like a couple of uh, episodes i believe on the this hotel itself because we will still have to build some things here and there so i'm not gonna like focus too much on that um like project as of yet because the uh, hotel of course needs to be finished first I don't know, I'll leave you all with the remaining of the speed build. Hopefully you all enjoy. As always, all the links in the description for the live streams over on Twitch and TikTok. So feel free once again to check out those live streams in the future if you would like. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will uh, see you all there. Or, of course, in a future video over here on YouTube. So thank you so much for tuning in with this video and checking out the, uh, the video itself. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you all in the next one so for now stay safe thank you so much and i will see you all later bye bye